Please be advised, Gaggle of Geeks contains strong opinions that may contain language unsuitable for young children. Now here are your hosts, Patrick Beatty and Chas Campbell Evans. Keep the change, you filthy animal. I don't know why you have to be so mean to me before we start, Chaz. And I don't know why you have to say so many horrible, racist things. Welcome, everybody, to the Gaggle of Geeks show. I am your host, Patrick. And, of course, I'm joined, as always, by Chaz. How's it going, man? Man, it's good. The holidays were good. Everything's good. I just ate some turkey, some leftover turkey, and I'm uh, I'm full of tur- turkey. Well, that sounded weird. Did I'm you end up having turkey. your Christmas dish? What's my Christmas dish? Well, what, Are oh, you my joking apple, me? My the German apple cake? Episode? Yeah. Son of a I bitch. didn't make any for myself, actually. I made some for my grandparents and my parents. So oh, I was kind nice. and, and gave out the love. So And was it lovely? Yeah, well, my, they let me have a piece so I could taste it. So I you know, didn't have to wonder if it was gross or not. Nice. Well, do you know what we're doing here today, Chaz? In this pre-tape, we, we should probably say again we're pre-taping. So we can have more time off to get ready for season two. <laughs> This is the end of season one of Gaggle of Geeks. Can you believe that? Dude, it's been a whole year. Whole year of this schnick. We started with a recap of last year, actually. I think that was our first episode, or most anticipated for 2020. We were talking about those films coming out. There's that, dude. I I remember, um, was it this last week, Rise of Skywalker came out a year ago. Mm -hmm. And we both saw that, and that's actually how we kind of uh, met up, if you will. And we talked about it afterward. Oh, shit, dropped something already. Well, yeah, the Rise of Skywalker. It was such a weird coincidence. Like, when had we started being friends? And then when did you start commenting on some of the stuff I was posting? Oh, man, I don't know. It was just the was it Was it just months <laughs> before that? Or was it, had you been like, had we been Facebook friends for a couple years and we didn't know about it? You know what? Hold on. I'm going to do some research. We need to do some research. It's our first year. Friends. <laughs> and, we're, and we're totally unprepared. Well, at least you are. It's all in my memory. I have a perfect memory of everything. Oh, do you? How how do you forget? Uh, keep talking. I'm gonna look this up. I don't ever tell me what to do on my show. Keep talking, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? While you're vent vetting, let's let's go ahead and talk about some of the things that did happen this year. Of course, Gaggle Geek started, but uh, we could not have continued in many ways without the people that were supporting us through the year. And that one person in particular that I'm referring to also was on the show a few times and now is is pretty much uh, weekly on either Gaggle of Geeks or the new show that we're going to be plugging pretty soon. But first, let's introduce Jay. What is up, Jay? (laughs) He mute himself. Shoot. Oh, my God. It feels so good. Why does it sound like you're underwater? Give me that one more time, Jay. Hello? Yeah, get it closer. Are you in the... Can, can you hear me now? Yeah, that's a little better. Yeah, it sounded like you were that? underwater for a minute. I can go higher if you need to, or do you want me to lower it a little? Nah, it's good. All right, cool. Hi. Done, boys. Thank you guys for having me on this season, man. Like, it, This has been like an incredible ride. You guys have no idea. This helped me out so much with everything that I have going on, and you know, it, it's been a blessing to see your progress from where you were three or four years ago to where you are now. And now we have Chaz and it's just a blessing to see how far you've come. So congratulations on the enormity of your success. Well, thank you, man. I'm glad and, that you've and been also, be part of it. And thanks for having me along, you know, for the ride. This is great. I look forward to every week, whatever I get a chance to do. All you got to do is just let me know. <laughs> of course. No, for sure. That's been one of the cool parts about having you involved is that it really has been like this first season, Chaz, I would say you would agree that we kind of have gone uh, a lot more guest centric, like we were adding more guests. And it's only until recently that we decided to switch that up and make it just be me and you because uh, I think we just need to establish a base of weirdness and yeah. then be able to rope everybody into our nonsense. But during a lot of times where it was like, we do not have a guest to bring in at the point, because I, obviously we all have second full-time jobs that we do. Jay was the one to jump in at the last minute. Literally, sometimes it'd be like five minutes, or I'd bring him in mid-show. That happened one time where I straight up just sent him a link Twice. halfway through the show, and then he just appeared like God, like Morgan Freeman God from... Yeah, he was driving. He was driving, and he's like, "Jesus, take the wheel." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. We we talked about that. You yeah, just, we, you we pull yeah. over. 
right? <laughs> yeah, we, we did. Well, so. let's bring in our next guest because this fella has mm -hmm. recently joined the Gaggle of Geeks group as the host, uh, essentially creator of Button Mashing. It's Nate's legend. How's it going, man? So on, guys. How you doing? The applause button is right next to the baby crying button. I I've been so afraid that I'm going to press the baby crying button by accident. Uh, you, you don't if there's anyone to baby cry for, though, it's this it's this face right here. So uh, you're no, good. No. It, it's, whoever, <laughs> it's whoever starts the show off by talking about a DC film. That's right. That's uh, right. Yeah, I see your mouth tighten, Chad. I see your mouth tighten. Yeah. Well, Nate, it's funny I want to talk. It's funny you say that because I'm Hold not trying to hey, hey, I'm not done intro. I know. Nate, I'm not done. Intro, intro, Nate. I'm not done. Intro, with Nate. Yeah, give me my spotlight. <laughs> Nate, <laughs> he fits Nate, in perfect. Nate has a big cock. He's been walking around with it, <laughs> swinging it around, and we had to wrangle that cock in, and and bring it in to to button mashing. Which I don't know if you I'll if you know. Did I explain to you why I really wanted to have the mashing part in it? No, Nate. you didn't. No. no. Okay, there's very there's one very stupid but reason that I still had to stick to nonetheless. Have you seen It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia? Bits and pieces. I okay. I, I couldn't get into it though. I apologize. There's a specific oh. scene during a Thanksgiving episode where everybody is trying to like solve their differences during Thanksgiving because they say that's a time to squash beef. And so they get all of the characters that throughout the seasons they've either harmed like violently or have like swindled out of a ton of money or gotten their car blown up just like random people that show up and mm -hmm. <laughs> one of the people is um this character called gail the snail now gail the snail is a, is a a gross character but hilarious and there's a part where she's jerking off danny devito's character frank okay. now when now, when they when they see this happening, it just happens out of nowhere, and he looks up and he just says, "She's mashing it." And that's where I came up with it. Okay, okay, I can live with that. That's, Does that make uh, you like the show title even more? Um, I don't know if "like" is the oh, word yeah. I would particularly <laughs> use, but it definitely adds a flair to it. That's for sure. Well, I, I think you've taken the mashing term. And and you, my I friend, am. are mashing it with button mashing. So how has it been for you? Uh, I really haven't talked too much about uh, just like how have you yeah. how have you been handling it so far? It's intense. Uh, it's definitely a different vibe than I, I kind of anticipated. I mean, everybody thinks like, oh, let me just get in and, and stream or I'm just going to get in and talk about this. But like you really have to have a direction to go with things and uh, creating a story essentially every episode. And it, it's it's been an adventure. It's been insane. I, I'm learning every day. It's going to keep getting better. That's all we're trying to do is just make the show better. So I'm enjoying it, though. It's It's been fun. Has there been anything, any, what episode would you recommend people go check out to go through your back catalog? Because now you have one, you have okay. seven episodes. Yeah, we're at seven episodes. Um, I think one of the more fun ones that uh, that comes to mind is the Destiny 2 episode. Um, we we were able to extend that one. We went a little over uh, about an to about an hour, and we didn't even get halfway we through. An hour on that one. Yeah, we went we went well, no. well over what we sh even should have and yet uh, still didn't get through nearly half of what we should have as well. So <laughs> um, check that one out because there's absolutely going to be a follow up to it. Awesome. Chaz, do you have you game a little bit? At least you all got game way more than I do. Are you interested in being on button mashing? Uh, maybe at one point I kind of not having or. How do I phrase that? I have not gamed um, in a while. Cyberpunk's actually the latest game I tried to game with, and then that fucking rent in the ass. So, um, other than that, dude, like I played NBA 2K20 uh, just because it was free on the PS Store, and so I, I don't, really free, I, yeah. yeah, I don't really go and buy games much anymore. But I am still working on getting that stupid PS5 eventually. <laughs> Oh, that, I still haven't found one for sale. I've yet to see a PS5 for sale. I, I did, I did. I, I will point out, I brought it up on, on, on button mashing a few times that I haven't found an Xbox. Yeah. I, I officially found, I have a screenshot of it. I finally found an Xbox Series S for sale, but I haven't found anything uh, else. So very best of luck trying to get one. Don't hurt yourself, Nick. Get the X, bro. Oh, I'm not getting any of them right now. Or yeah, that's that's well in the future. So you both agree on on console versus PC, and if so, are you guys on the same console? Who are you talking uh, about? 
I use them all. So send me a link. Mm, oh, all preference. Yeah, I don't uh, I'm more inclined to play on PlayStation. Uh, I am a PlayStation guy, always and forever will be. Mm. But um, I will, I do have an Xbox, but Derica's on it right now. She's watching TV. It's primarily used for TV. Uh, That's so, okay. You know. But I will say this, though most of the games that I do play, I can play on PlayStation and on Xbox. So if Derica's in here and I feel like playing a game, I might just go in the room and use the Xbox. Or vice versa. There you so, go. Nice. But it is very weird and very hard because I hate the controller of the Xbox. Always have. Always will. <laughs> I just bought it because it was on sale and it was decent enough to put inside the room where no one could see it. So it's nice. the, the controller is really fat and chunky with the Xbox. Yeah. Mm. I got yeah. really fat and chunky this week. I did too. <laughs> that beef Wellington man. Dude, yeah, how that beef 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 me up. how did, how did so that good. come out, man? That well looked, this year. That yeah. looked oh, every year. Really that's good, that's man. my tradition is to do the Gordon Ramsay beef Wellington. But we we got copyright struck struck down for playing that video last time, so we should move forward. <laughs> 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 I was hoping to say like, "Where's the lamb sauce?" <laughs> Yeah, Gordon Ramsay saw hard. that, and he's we, like, we "Who the fuck just, do they think they are?" Well, we just straight we straight up just played the video, <laughs> and, and then yeah. I it, we reviewed it. Here's the thing: we reviewed it, and it was for educational purposes, minus some of the noises I was making while it, it was being prepared. Like that stuff. I mean, I'm sure right. you have to cut out a little bit, you know, the moaning mm. and stuff. No. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, do you have there a new camera on? Uh, no, I don't. Actually, what I wound up doing was I wound up doing a little bit of work here on my desk and removing the backdrop that was on my desk. That oh, now okay. sits outside. So the lamp is more uh, lower instead of it being up higher. So That's it has a filter good, on dude. it. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on some things. Next thing I'm getting is a Secret Labs chair and then, uh, then the camera since I got gypped on the camera that I was supposed to get. So, um, yeah, I got, I got scammed. I, I, I'm not proud to say it, but I, I got scammed. Mm. No, definitely. <clears throat> well, I, Hey, I think we're going to find a good camera for you. How did you get scammed though? Did he take the money and run? Yeah, actually they did. Even what? though they were in Tennessee, it was only, um, I was supposed to pay for shipping, which is like 25 bucks. Wait, they where wanted did you me get to this pay. from Craigslist or? Offer up. What is offer up? Yeah, offer up is like a better alternative to net. I mean, uh, I'm saying Netflix. I mean Craigslist. So it doesn't uh, sound like it. But it was supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, it really doesn't. But it, it's is this the first time you used it, or has it been used? No, it? no, I've used it before with no problems or okay. anything like that. So I just assumed that everything here was perfect. You know what I mean? When I was searching for camera, we had this discussion about me looking for cameras. So, um, yeah, I sent them the money, which was only $25 for the shipping. And uh -huh. they took it and ran because apparently some other people got scammed by it too. Cause I got this notice saying that I'm getting $25 back. So I'm like, all right, cool. Okay. So apparently I'm not back the, only one. the shipping fee. Did, are they sending mm -hmm. back all your full refund though? I, I was supposed to get it for free. I was just supposed oh, to pay the shipping. Oh, I see. Gotcha. So I only paid $25. What kind of camera was it? Uh, this was a Canon 60D. For free? Yes. Well, Jay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a, a quote of movie that we shan't really talk about. Well, shit, Diana. <laughs> <laughs> well see here's the thing though with the like, with the camera on. though the cam a, that's like you, clicking on a free ipod the, ad well if you look at the camera itself because he actually had photos and everything of the camera the camera is only 354 54 dollars brand new so used it'll be even cheaper than that and that came with just a standard lens and everything that came with it so I was like, hey, 300 bucks compared to, you know, the 800 I'm getting ready to spend on a, a Sony or a Panasonic or something like 
you take what you can get. You know, any deal is a good deal. You know what I mean? You just got to make sure it's the right deal. So that's sure, what I was. I just need to. I need to prevent you from fraud, Jay. That's where. That's where <laughs> I'm coming from. If you see something free, you do not purchase. You don't try to take that, Jay. That's well, your new I rule. Quest, I questioned everything about it. Unless it's like, on a curb, which I've done multiple times. Right. Hey, so, yeah. hell, as a matter of fact, this tablet that I have here, which is Luther's beat up tablet, um, was actually <laughs> bought off of offer up. It, it was it was a lot nicer than though when I when I bought it. But um, was it free? It, no, it was, 50, it was fifty. It was fifty dollars. Regular price for this thing is one hundred fifty bucks. So, oh nice. Um, okay. Yeah, a company went out of business, and uh, yes, I am a sexy beast. <laughs> Thank you, Chaz. Yeah. For, for our listeners, uh, for some reason, just this banner comes up on our screen saying, Jay is a sexy beast. This is Chaz. Interesting. Yeah. Here he is. <laughs> so, <laughs> right, just enough like, scolding, mm, sexy beast. but we're going to talk later. I want to protect you, Jay. Let's talk about this year in, in Gaggle Geekdom uh, about uh, some of our favorite moments, say, maybe some of our favorite episodes, some stuff that we did, maybe, I don't know. This episode was kind of off the cuff, but we've already covered so much ground. 16 minutes worth. It was good. Yep. Damn. Does everybody well, just want to eat and go all. home? I'm sure everybody listening is like, oh, God, if it's not about Wonder Woman, I want to leave. <sighs> I started it. <laughs> I'll be watching it later on tonight with the wife. Mm. Chaz loves Wonder Woman 1984. Tweet at him your favorite moments of the film. Oh, it's wow. at ya boy Chaz A. My God, he he called me. He called me, guys, and, and I'm gonna be real with you. This isn't a bit. This isn't mm -hmm. a bit. This actually happened. Okay. Okay. He called me, and there were, and I could, I could hear the tears streaming down his face, and he said, mm -hmm. "Patrick, if I did not think that Christmas Day could be any brighter for me, I, I just witnessed God in the form of a movie, oh and it was God. soul." And it was really cool that he liked Soul. And then he also said that he loved Wonder Woman 1984. Oh. I don't remember hearing him say those words. I, I don't you remember on that the call either. with me. <laughs> How'd you know? You weren't on the call with me. Chaz, Chaz was delirious. <laughs> you know, as well. He seemed drunk. No, I was he, not he was drunk, actually. He was burping a lot during the call. You know, what I actually think I said to you, sir, was just watch Wonder Woman. Oof. <laughs> oh god well this it is a non-spoiler quick review because there were three movies that came out and um i know nate and jay have not seen 84 yet jay's gonna start it tonight and nate yes, tonight. you're you've been a huge dc fan for a long time yeah. and we've we've hidden your batman mm -hmm. love Let's let's look at the cowl right behind you. Yeah, shirt. we have the cowl. We have uh, the plaque. I have a poster up over here that y'all can't see. I got the Batman in the back there. Uh, yeah, just a little bit. I might like Batman. What is that Harley Quinn on the wall? Everything. Oh, right. tattoos. Oh, there you go. And so the question oh. is, does that extend mm -hmm. to the whole DC universe when it comes to their films? Uh, yes and no. I get really excited for DC films because, like. I love the characters, right? Like that, that's the, you get excited. And so, yes, I get, still get kind of giddy, but no, they all, they, they tend to miss. Wonder Woman was amazing. I, I loved that one. Uh, I'm looking forward to the Schneider cut, but like, it's all been misses. So I can't say that, oh, I'm obsessed with them. Um, you want to talk about animated movies though? And it's DC all day, every day. And there's, it's hands yeah. down. There's no competition. Sure. So I like where yes, your head's no. at. Nate. I like where your head's at. Well, Jay, are you nervous going into wonder woman 84? No, because I'm going to, honestly, it, even if there are spoilers for it, and I'll be perfectly honest, it spoilers don't really bother me because one way or another, I have to form my own opinion of it. So mm -hmm. I really just take mm -hmm. all the spoilers with a grain of salt. Uh, the the one that I don't. <laughs> <Luther. Point> that... <laughs> Nate, what's your favorite yeah. Luther moment? Uh, I, I've only had a couple actually. He's, uh, <laughs> let's see. Last week, uh, Jay had to bounce because Luther was in the other room. I think he was throwing things. Uh, okay. that, that one was fun. Just, you know, have to randomly cut feet for him and just 
Oh, there you go. There's the. There's the. <laughs> All right. It is an adventure over there. <laughs> Something just happened. My favorite was him walking into frame with a bottle of barbecue sauce. Yeah. <laughs> and Jay just exasperated going, why do you have barbecue sauce? I don't think he even looked back. He was just like, he's got the barbecue sauce, doesn't he? <laughs> there are good moments. But um, what were we talking about, Chaz, before we introduced everybody? We were talking about the... Uh, did you look up on Facebook when we were when we started Friends? Okay, so I can't see it. So I don't know if you can see on your on your end. Um, the I see Friends look. thing doesn't, doesn't give give me the option. I think I do. I think it was probably sometime early in 2019 or late 2018, maybe. Gotcha. Because it, I didn't notice um, our friendship until the Rise of Skywalker film came out and I started seeing more comments from you specifically doing the thing that you like doing most on this show, which is just kind of being like, okay, yeah, I'm but back. it sucks, right? <laughs> or, but in this case, it was, it's not that bad because this was the first, honestly, this was the first of the Star Wars films where I went, that was total garbage and I don't feel good. Do like, you and I are opposite on that, yeah. With Solo, yeah. Solo has a weird catharsic cathartic experience with me because it was during the same week that my grandpa died so it was like a one source of comfort where i was like oh at least there's this and then last jedi loved it force awakens loved it rise of skywalker garbage garbage pile in a sadness bowl i see we're, we're kind of at opposite ends there but yeah and that's what this fucker did and so he did that and then um, for some reason, I just said, well, uh, we're going to have to go watch the movie. And this is when it was still pretty crowded. It was opening weekend, I think. And we had gotten tickets, but we were on opposite ends of the theater. <laughs> so we'd never met out. each other. We just showed up, looked at each other and went, let's do this. Split across <laughs> sides and watched the movie. Then came out and then basically just went, yep. And then left. Like that was about yeah. all. Or did you come over? We, I right came over to that. your I came over to your place right after that. So that was the same segment. day. Okay. Yeah. Then we went into the garage, filmed the first segment. Here we're pulling it up. Let's see if we look any better than what we do oh, because God. that was in the 2019 this, world. Um, this I'm very interested to see. Good. Might have been better than hey, 2020 kind of messed everyone up. So it really did, man. It put a sour it taste in my mouth, man. I think I know, short I've been sure. going through these. I'm seeing so many videos that we've made. It's pretty awesome, dude. Not um while you're looking for that patrick uh i do oh, want to say one of one of my favorite episodes uh of anything gavel geeks was uh one i've done with nate my very first episode uh oh, yeah. on, on, on button matching uh the the very first episode of gaggle geeks and the very first episode of button mashing will always hold something near and dear to me because um it, it's just wow <laughs> Whoops! Is that no? Don't I'm not interrupting your flow, Jay. Keep going. Um, jazz. I mean, um, <laughs> I can't think. I mean, Instant distraction. Um, they they will always hold a, a near and dear part in my in my heart thoroughly. Um, because I was asked to come on, and um, I feel like uh, I have a lot of uh, invested time in seeing the progress of the uh, Gaggle of Geeks brand or even PatrickBeattyReviews.com um, whenever I get a chance to get to writing stuff down without being busy. Because um, there are so much nipples. stuff I want to say. But man, look the at the... Are so hard in that shot. Look at wow. the generation. You can put that video. up and be like, put it up in like some subreddit that's like, uh-oh, he's not wearing a bra. You know what this, you, you know this kind of reminds me of? And I know this might sound yeah, weird. Uh -oh. No, it, it reminds me of one of those shows that uh, used to come on with the uh, three characters in the, the silhouette backdrop um, with the oh, movie theater. Watching Mr. Stern, the Mystery Science yes. uh, Theater. <laughs> yes, that's what that kind of reminds me of, you know. God, dude. <laughs> where, where it started. Where it's at. Where what? it's at. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Jazz, look at your hair, man. I think it's grown a we, lot. You've yes. All right, there you go. Bring it out. Bro, we both look like we've aged. 
<laughs> yeah, we do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> point point he's done yeah. his numbers, man. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, we both look like we've aged and we're a little more sad. <laughs> it is what it is. Oh, God. Um, you can't see another... straight through my head in that picture. That's great. <laughs> you, you can't. And that's what's killing me about both you and Chaz. <laughs> what because I remember watching this. <laughs> That's why. Ah. <laughs> All right, that was the devil's work. <laughs> the devil just got into that clip. Now, right, do so that's you still, where we started. Do you still have the same camera you used for that? Mm hmm. Yeah, did you do an upgrade? I think that's all the same. Oh. Mm. I think it's the same equipment because we had two angles, right? Yeah, two uh, angles yeah. that I had the two cameras. We're both wearing uh, lav mics. Um, in fact, if anything, this is a downgrade, this camera now. Uh, that one, I just wasn't good at green screen. Now you're uh, good at it, man. Yeah, Look how much this year now has like... do it live. Yeah. Like, the progression of what we've been able to do from when we did the Nightmare at South by Southwest thing, or like the Zack Snyder, which, which, by the way, we need to do more of that stuff, man. That's what the show was originally meant to go, to go through, was just stupid sketches. And you've had an idea for a toilet sketch that still has not <laughs> happened and i don't know if it's because you don't want us taken down now that i've got the abc4 gig but if it's not that demoralizing we could try it you know um i don't see why we shouldn't <laughs> exactly i mean what's the worst that could happen really you just say you say this is my thoughts on wonder woman 1984 you take a wipe and you just flush that was mm. it no <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was gonna say, okay, what a sure. stupid idea. That's not at all what I thought this was. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna need you to do with that idea is take a toilet, take a wipe, and just push it down. <laughs> jokes on <laughs> jokes on you guys. I use a bidet. No, I don't. But <laughs> I'm about to say, how is that experience? <laughs> I have no idea. I've never used a bidet in my life. I would it's love big. to use one that's got warm water. I've tried it's something yeah. that has cold water not is it cold water it it, it 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 attacks you in not a good way <laughs> <laughs> but it like, I, I would love to try like a tushy like a, a you mm. know that brand okay, yeah, so, but, but, but but with the cold water like you know like when your nipples hit cold air or whatever they get hard like does your butthole kind of pucker like with hardness when whole in a word or cold water <laughs> in a word shrinkage <laughs> 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 nobody's watching this episode like this episode, nobody's doing anything with this i'm just forcing everybody here for no reason <laughs> we have to convene and talk about this nate does your i, I i've watched yeah. your episodes and i've never mm -hmm. seen it go in this area do you never want to have me on your show oh you are absolutely welcome on my show anytime you want <laughs> bring it on we we pay think, homage to you every single oh, every week. Oh, we I have know, a little ritual that, that we part. give. Yeah. <laughs> it's embarrassing. It's I don't know how to take it. Hey, um, I also go in the plugs yeah. though for Gaggle Geeks and uh, Over Under Artists Exposed. All right, thank yeah. you, Jay. You don't need to do Chaz's. Always. But I part of the Gaggle Geeks family. Yeah, you, this is, you don't this have to is do more that. than just a, a business, man. This is a this is a familyhood here. If this is a business, yeah. that's. I've never known that. We are doing terrible. I have made no money. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I just took down the sponsored ads, too, because I, I don't like them anymore. So now we really don't have money. Wait, who are the sponsored Which ads? Which reminds me, subscribe to our Patreon <laughs> and buy merch by clicking the link in the description. <laughs> right. Jay, okay, Patrick, let me ask you a question then. So going forward with 2021 in our horizon, um, how do you like? Do you hope to have a Patreon set up by then for next it's year? Set up, but the question is, how do you want to do content? Because that's going to require more work. Okay. At the end of the day, is like a lot more stuff. Mm, so behind the scenes whether, stuff. Whether yeah, yeah, like vlogging weird shit, like maybe implementing your stuff with it. I, I don't say, know. I say, let's but do I do it. want to use stuff with uh, the Patreon. I just haven't really figured out what the right one is. Maybe reviews early. Eh, but there's some barcos on that. You can't really escape those. Yeah. Hmm. Well, now you've stopped everything. Well, and I have to think about this. Chaz, well, then, back. What's Jay, your favorite episode? What's your favorite episode of Guy Geeks, Patrick? 
You, I mean, you, you have created the show. Oh. So hmm. I know you've had guests on the show. I know you've had a lot of fun times doing sketches. What's the most memorable thing you've done for season one of Gaggle Geeks? I don't think there's one in particular. I think it's just once things started clicking. Like for the first few episodes, and Nate, you could probably attest to this, mm-hmm. there, or maybe maybe it's not like done the click in yet, which is totally fine, and that's, that's what to. doing the show is, is about finding the way that everything clicks into place. But there was, I think, one episode where I think me and Chaz had a couple guests on, and it just felt like everything was in a smoother motion, and that we were able to kind of anticipate each other more than we were in previous ones sometimes it was like we we would start a conversation and then somehow it would just fall and we didn't really know where to go from there so there'd be a little bit of dead air or something like that right but then eventually it started kicking in it was like oh yes this is kind of what we were looking for i i need i want the ludicrous speed though i need us in 2021 to just be like boom yeah doing the weirdest shit i we could possibly think of you know like uh We'll get the vaccine. That way, we can touch each other, and and, and things will, <laughs> things things will just progress from there. <laughs> All right, got my COVID vaccine. I'm doing okay. I'm just... Yeah, okay. I heard they have to like shoot that in your dick. <laughs> what? Yeah. What? Yeah. I don't, and where I don't, did don't you just hear... say yeah? Tell us more now, please. Details. Okay. So, yeah. so like you know how like on the dick there's like like uh, sometimes there's like that vein that just like throbs. No, and, like, I don't. I don't know right. how that on the that's, dick. That's 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 the vein since it's the most prominent on your body that they just fucking wham. So, Dude, so when you donate plasma, why don't they just go straight for the no. penis? Because if they're because that's taking stuff out of you that that would cause shrinkage. They're putting it back in. I think stabbing you would cause a lot of shrinkage. I, God, no. Yeah, I can. I can. I promise you. You start stabbing down there. I am inside my own body so quickly to get away from it. I swear to God. Jesus no. Christ, Chaz. <laughs> like, okay. What the fuck? I know. Okay, that was what the okay. Fuck. That's not how they do the vaccine. If that makes you afraid no. of getting the vaccine, then don't take that seriously because that's not how they do the vaccine. I don't, I don't, I don't plan to take the shit no way. I just want to see 28 days later happen. Hey, there <laughs> goes Jay. It's very nice to see Jay. Make sure that you do get the vaccine. I'm Please. Just <laughs> I will get it once I know after a certain incubation. I'll get it when you get it. <laughs> well, to be fair, Jay, we're really not looking at a lot of people have already gotten it. A lot of people are still to get it before you're even, or I say you're weird, even thought about getting this vaccine. We're going to know the repercussions well before. Here's why I trust it. Yeah. All of the anti vaxxing politicians that have been against COVID have all gotten it. That's why I, <laughs> that's why I know it's legit because they, because they, they got it, you know? Are you so it's not sure? Like they're worried about what, it. Are, are, and they're probably the bitches sure that knew that it would work. They wouldn't take it unless they absolutely knew. Mike Pence getting his right there told me, okay, this is yeah. at least safe enough for that dude. You sure? Unless he's like water. going down with the ship and Trump is like, just take the shot. I don't care if you lose <laughs> your balls. <laughs> and then he. Nah, me and my balls, balls are a long like time this ago. Son, and I, I, I don't think I could ever see myself without my balls. Mm-mm. I, yeah, mean, what would you... I still, I hope we have female followers but <laughs> they might have all left now thanks to all of you not yeah, you guys are great Don't we you do have to send a congratulations to valerie she is getting married oh Ooh. yeah oh yeah congrats valerie congrats to valerie jesus jay you're making us all look bad <laughs> remembering <laughs> all these things how about instead of waiting for us to try to guess that one <laughs> just announce it so we can all go yeah exactly you know damn it i'm not object. on instagram that often it was on uh, facebook <laughs> i don't look that close at facebook oh it yeah, hurts facebook me now looking on facebook now is death i i stay away from that i thought looking at twitter was death no, dude, Twitter's just death if you're a part of the film Twitterverse because it's toxic as fuck. <laughs> it really is. I, I Twitter is say. toxic as fuck for everybody. It's just a matter of which faction of toxic you want to be a part of with Twitter. Yeah, that's mm. true. And, and, and it's a never-ending cycle because the only way to get more likes and retweets is by saying something that's like 
meant to trigger somebody or there's yeah, not, like the Snyder Cut's gonna suck. I've only seen one account have more appreciation posts and stuff that got a lot of followers. And I'm so envious of her. We've had her on. It's Rosa from Rosa Reviews. Like her Twitter account is awesome. Like she's super nice. Uh, puts out all kinds of shit. But mostly it's like, yeah, I'm out shit. And then they have, yeah. The moment uh, you have yeah. a different opinion than someone, you're just getting ripped. Ugh. Or even just agreeing with someone. Like you get you get it either way. Someone's blasting your butt. <laughs> Why did I say butt? Ass. So then, Chaz, what's your favorite episode of all Black History? <laughs> Look at Jay trying to keep us on track. <laughs> what the? F- <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I'm I, I'm just doing my job. I, Jay's you know. sitting here like one eternity. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Jay Show. <laughs> Or actually, he's he's probably a little bit more. How do you get a job here, you fuck face? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly it right there. Yeah, well, you don't even out. you don't even know our our rundown that we Me? definitely wrote. Chat, Chaz, go fucking with it. Okay, Damn okay. It. Well, yeah, it's here's... already over. It's already over. <laughs> what rundown? No, 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 no. Here, here's my favorite. My favorite episode is probably the Snyder Cut one. Um, when oh, yeah. when Patrick voiced Snyder. And I had to play the exact. You no, know, we can do blast no. from the past with our own stuff. Was that you the split? That, right, that's how we split. Um, what? We're we're go- we're going through it. We're gonna we're gonna look back. Okay, we go back. But I think that's when we act. That's like one of our first skits we actually did. And Patrick came to me and he said, you know, like we, we you have to play this part. I'll, I'll we'll we'll get in the Zoom call and we'll record it and then I'll just put it in in the show. And I didn't know how it was going to turn out. So hearing that live, I was laughing really hard. <laughs> same. Same. So. I think one of my favorites uh, with all of us was the uh, pineapple doesn't go on pizza. I think that was by oh, far shit. the most epic conversation we ever had. Let's ask Nate real quick. Nate, does pe- pineapple go on pizza? Do you want the honest answer to that? Or yes, I do. Where am I going to get ripped <laughs> if I give you the honest answer for it? No, because there's the lie yeah, first. Pineapple I'm goes what in it? on pizza. Absolutely, it does. Hundred percent. Is this you being serious or is this you lying? Mm-hmm. No, I'm being dead serious. Pineapple goes on pizza. It's delicious. Fuck yeah, dude. It's delicious. No. If you can, okay, okay, only with pineapple no. on pizza. No, 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 you're gonna listen to this, okay? Because only with pineapple on pizza can you actually get a savory and sweet pizza at the same time. Sweet and savory is what you're searching for. That's yeah. how you get it. Pineapple goes on pizza. Patrick, he's like a, he's like a mini Chaz, man. It's, it's, do you wait, hear wait, the... I got the locks. I got the locks to. Here you go. There you go. Oh, Holy shit. Man. What? Whoa! <laughs> Boom! Um, now, now, now you're throwing that's... your hair in my face. Look at these! F- fuck both of you! Fuck I know, both it's of like you! Your stupid hair! What's going on right here, man? Your hair is stupid <laughs> and full. And I hate it. <laughs> all I gotta say is, I, I just tried to have. I just wanted to have. Know. Look, look. I had look, all. Look, I had all three of you on today, because I just wanted to have a good episode. <laughs> that's how you do it. You guys, you guys just, you guys just ruining all of it. <laughs> I think this is a lovely episode for me and Chaz. <laughs> let's take let's take our look back at the real drama behind Warner Brothers releasing Zack Snyder's Justice League. Roll it. Hello. Oh, that's not hot. I don't know how you got this number, but it's two in the morning. If I say who it is, you might hang up. I can, I, I can still hang up. You wrote this in like three I'm, minutes. I'm just surprised you couldn't tell by my voice. It's it's me. It's Toby. Look, I've, I've been thinking, you, you know, I've got my priorities out of sync. And and with this whole quarantine, it's, it's got me thinking about the past Toby. and the things that were most important in life. I hear you've got this 
big, long reel that is dying to be shown. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Look. What? Yes, yes. What? I, I got the footage that you guys buried. Buried? Look. Yeah. Buried? What? Zach, you know. What is it to you? No, I what would never you? do that. <laughs> you're, you're not thinking straight, man. It's that real. was ad-libbed. Come on. We can get the whole gang back together. Gal Gadot's already got this song we're going to sing live to support. Oh, this one she did the, the Imagine Party for some... him. <laughs> Release the Snyder Cut. Toby. Look, have you ever driven a car with no seats or with mm-hmm. no panels or, <laughs> yeah. or no steering wheel? I have tried. I think we're, that, I think I we're about as... I we I, think we're I, SNL, there, but we're really mad TV. Cut. What? <laughs> <laughs> I can't fund that myself. What? Uh, you can fund me any day, like, You've turned a large percentage of the DC fan base into a water slide. And that's the end of that one. <laughs> oh, my God. So that's perfect. the best way to end that. Best oh, way to end man. that one. I, I've all had right. such a great time being on this show with you guys, with all three of you guys. Getting a chance yeah. to know every single one of you guys has been part of the best parts of my year. Um, so thank all three of you for giving me a chance to be on your guys' platform and help me start my own platform that's been in hiatus for the last six months. But, you know, uh, things take time when you're trying to build things up. And, you know, of course, we have everyday work that we have to do. So, mm. yeah, thank you guys for everything. Thank you, man. We're looking forward to seeing what you're going to do in 2021. Yeah, do you want to yeah. announce your, do you want to make your announcement or is it too early uh, for that? No, it's not too early for it at all, because I, I welcome any and all suggestions, too. Uh, let's talk about it's coming back in February for Black History Month, and it's going to be going on until I see fit. You know, there will be breaks in between, but for now, I'll be doing two episodes a week in the month of February, uh, talking mm-hmm. about actors, uh, African-American actors, actresses, directors, uh, those who have made a significance in the African-American community to make you say, damn makes me proud to be a black guy or damn he had a really good point and he touched on like james earl jones and fences you just can't beat i'm sorry denzel you're just not gonna beat you know darth vader but um you know i i I do plan to bring back uh let's talk about it for black history month and uh continue you know continue to see it going you know and hopefully be on you know the show with Nate's legend and back on Gagly Geeks in between all that. So I'm I'm definitely Absolutely. looking forward to uh what 2021 has to offer. Um what, what how should I say this post COVID? Um mm-hmm. we're getting out of it. So, so well, that yeah. was Jay Moore, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God. And Nate, let's talk about mashing. When is it coming back Absolutely. on and what what do we hope to see coming from it in 2021? Absolutely. So we are going to be back on January 6th. I'm just taking a a small little break. Moving forward, I want to make it definitely a more community-based podcast. I I want everybody to to come join in on the conversation. We're going to be talking video games all the time. I mean, that's all that we're going to be talking about. So if you have a game that you want to talk about or if there's uh, something you want to add to the podcast, we're live. So Please feel free, bring it up, put it in the comments. I can see it. We're going to acknowledge it. We're going to make sure to talk with you guys. Let's make it a community, talk about some gamings. Woo, dude, thank you so much for coming on and yeah. and, and being a part of the, the gang now. I'm glad that we all got to convene together the yeah. nights of the, the, the geeks of the gaggle. I don't know what I'm saying, man. Thanks the for coming out. Love it, man. Love it, and love it. With that, we're just going to end this. I'm just going to... Chad. Chad. I see how it is. I see how my it is. Boy. I, I, yeah. I see how it is. <laughs> my boy. Coming onto the show, meeting a stranger at a theater, which you were you probably shouldn't have done. Like if we're all being honest, like that was a bad move on both our parts. Like yeah, I mean, let me ask you a question because like when, when I first saw you, because like I didn't know how tall you were, right? And oh, fuck first... you. We're done. <laughs> we're already out of this. What yeah. the fuck? I didn't know how tall you were. You skyscraper. Him. You got him good. You skyscraper. So, so yeah, I was like having anxiety walking toward it, and then I saw you standing there. I'm like, oh, if this motherfucker tried anything on me, he'd be dead. <laughs> Jolly green asshole. That's what you are. Just flick him away. Right? <laughs> no, dude. I, I thank you for inviting me to go see that. Um 
and invite me back to your place to, you know, record stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, because without other. that, dude, I don't, I don't know if we'd be like, I, I don't know if I'd be here right now, you know. Uh, oh, wait, talk, that would be the Jay and Nate, so and you, so yeah. it's thank you for for inciting this gaggle of geeks community, if you will. Yeah, man, for sure, man. I think I think there's going to be plenty more to come in 2021. Um, I we're going to start up uh, fucking yeah. You you really don't have a loss of content because we're going to take the next week off. This will come out on Friday, and then from there we're going to be back. We're going to be live, and we're going to be doing the, all of the weird shit that you've already seen, plus more. We've got we got tons of weird shit that we're that we have yeah. in the pipeline. But um, with that being said, thank you all of you for being part of this. Um, hope to see you all in the next year and we will see you at the next review.